Cece. Hello. I have a pet. I know I came to say hi to your new dog. Oh yeah, you want to say hi to him? Yeah. He's um, he totally didn't just kill me. You know, he's slow to warm, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just uh, he's he's teething. Hey, buddy. <laughs> he's teething. The fact that he's completely silenced is a scary bit. <laughs> yeah, he like he was oh. fine. Oh. He's fine most of the time. Oh. And then he... I got some of your stuff. I think there's one more thing over there. I'm gonna go diving. <laughs> it was just a minecart. I may have made the mistake of, you know, quickly dumping everything inside whenever I saw it. <laughs> right, so all your stuff's in there. I was about to say we could use invisibility potions to get sneak up on him, but like he's blind. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't think that'd be that effective. He can have the castle. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, like, did you actually plan on living in there? Like, there's, you've got a house over there. No. You yeah, can live in the doghouse. No, I've been staying in this shed. Yeah, I can live in the doghouse, exactly. Yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna... Oh, there's pillagers over there. Hey, oh, you got some orphans. Hey, guys. Do you want to see my dog? Attack! Yeah, <laughs> dog. Attack, dog. Oh, they're attacking each other. Who needs weapons when you have dog? Real. Oh, hi, I'm Cece, and welcome back to the Backyard server. Uh, that was just me getting murdered by Cherry's new dog, but I'm currently here on top of my creeper farm, where I've been AFKing for a while to get more gunpowder to make some more TNT. And that's because I have used uh, quite a bit doing some blast mining, uh, and I think I'll quickly show you some clips of that now. <laughs> Okay, the booms are getting bigger. Oh! How did that reach? Oh no. <laughs> this is an interesting situation. <laughs> oh, okay, mount. Yeah. Oh. How am I alive? But that, that has got some serious, like, blast radius. Oh! <laughs> it's an off. <laughs> I made this pilot hole as a way of sort of seeing if there's any water or lava, which it actually is. Uh, and all of a sudden has gotten me killed so far. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure like some of that cobblestone should have been destroyed there, but it seems like it's fine. Oh, hello. No more danger from the tier. Oh. Okay, we're onto the deep slate layer. This is the bit I'm particularly interested in. Now here's the issue. I don't actually have a way of getting back up without using elytra. <laughs> I didn't really think that far ahead. Oh, nope. And that's right into the lava. Okay, a decent chunk survived. I should have got rid of that lava. I forgot to put the water down. Ooh, maybe I should uh, get back up and not die. That should hopefully eventually reach the bottom and then turn that to obsidian. Spawned a tropical fish. <laughs> what? <laughs> the top I got fish there. Oh! Uh, TNT, please. Thank you. <laughs> need to get back up there. Oh! Oh, nope. And that's going to destroy all the stuff, isn't it? Oh, one's already down there anyway. Oh, God. Okay, back down we go. Wait. Where's my elytra and boots? Was I wearing them? Oh, no. I think I was wearing them. Oh, please, please tell me they haven't been blown up. Oh, no. Uh. Oh, okay. Boots alive. Boots survived. Did my elytra. 
Oh, the one thing I needed to get back home is gone. That's so annoying. Okay, luckily I have a spare elytra, so that's not too big of a loss, but that is disappointing. I can't find my elytra. Uh, it's not here. At least I, can't, I don't see it here. Uh, it's not there. It's not, it's not, it's not here, it's not here, it's not here, it's not here, it's not anywhere. I don't know where it is. Um, oh god. Oh no. Um, I'm gonna quickly go ahead to spawn. I know that there is a wing shop there. Actually, I don't have any diamonds. I'm broke. Oh, no, I'm not. Look at that. Uh, I'm not gonna mind the diamond ore. That's, 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 that's a bit fancy, but 61. Why have I got so much deep fake diamond? Please, please. No. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate. Uh, I might have to go to the end. I would ask someone to borrow the elytra to go hunt for an elytra, but well, I'm all alone. Okay, Cherry has said that I am allowed to borrow her elytra. The issue is that the elytra is currently being guarded by her pet dog. And oh, I found more. Wait a second. I think I found where my elytra went. Okay, let's just uh, murder this guy. Yep, there it is. Okay. Uh, well, I found it. <laughs> I never in my life would have thought to look here for a drowned wearing it, but... Woo! Okay, uh, that's awesome. I'm going to go enchant it, and then I'm going to go do a little bit of a light hunting just to get a couple spares. Hi, Sherry. Hey, uh, let's go to the grinder, I guess. Haha. <laughs> So I ended up using my spare elytra to get back to Cherries after dying, and when I died again, the elytra must have just gotten stuck on a drowned, and I just didn't notice that I didn't have it on the way back, which I, I can't believe I found that. Like, the odds of me finding that were very low, but I have now gone to the end, got myself a couple spare ones, and I'm going to put a communal, and I'm going to put a communal elytra at the end portal, but that's not what I want to be focusing on today. So I want to quickly see how much gunpowder I got while I was AFK, and oh, I'm getting some lag spikes today. Let's look down here. Hey guys. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. But I'm getting quite a bit of other stuff in there. So there must be like a single spot that is just not like trapdoored. But I want to do some more experimenting with TNT methods. The blast mining was surprisingly effective for how bad I did it. But like, look, I got so much cobble deep slate. I was down to nothing. And like after like probably about two stacks of TNT, I've basically got a double chest and a bit of it. And cobblestone, I've got loads, look at that. That's ridiculous. And tough, not as much, but still got quite a bit. So I want to do some more experiments with that, but I've actually got some other stuff involved with TNT as well. So this is where I would have shown you a clip of me and Billy making some business deals, but unfortunately my audio is messed up in that video, which is a shame. But basically what we talked about is that we're going to go into partnership with his uh, company, Boom Boom Billy's. Basically, I am supplying him gunpowder to use in his TNT and fireworks, and I get a little cut of the profit. And that was what the diamonds were last episode. But also... I'm going to be making a second shop just over here where this crater is. And that is going to be a demolition service. I'm going to call it CC's Crater Creators, which I think is a pretty fitting name. And basically, I'll just offer my services of making holes. But I'm going to have to work on my hole making abilities because, as you probably saw from that clip earlier, uh, I, I blew myself up a lot. And I want to not do that. So let's quickly go ahead to my demolition area. So this is where all of the booming has been happening and I think it's been pretty effective aside from everything bad that happened. And I've d oh, <laughs> speaking of, <laughs> and the way I have been doing the booming is basically I have a crafting base system that I have stolen from Efo. So this crafter here will craft up uh, minecarts which then gets put into this crafter which will craft up minecart TNT, which will then go into a dispenser, which then sends out the minecart down below. Then over here, we've got just a repeater timer, which gives a really nice interval between TNT. Like, I think it's a pretty good spacing. Gives you enough time to run around, grab stuff, and then uh, block the next TNT. And then when I'm down at the bottom, I just kind of grab a shield and then just uh, block the TNT. And I think it's a pretty simple system. I just need to do some fine-tuning 
to uh, address the flaws. Uh, biggest flaw being that I die a lot. Uh, that's mainly just about getting good at it. The other flaw is that there's no real way of getting out. So I want to do some experimenting with some ways of like getting back up. I don't want to have my elytra and stuff on me. That's too expensive to to risk dying and losing to TNT. I've got a few ideas in mind, but I need to clear out some space to start working on them. So this is the idea I've got. Basically over here, this is where the repeater like clock would be. And then over here it goes into a counter where I put in three oak planks just for now. And basically each time that it goes around the loop, it will put one oak plank into the hopper until it empties and then it'll put all of them back into the dropper here. And then on this side over here, when it empties, it will basically turn on this copper bulb, which has a comparator that goes into another comparator that then locks the loop and turns off the uh, turns off the the, 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 the the clock. And that is basically that way I can limit how many times it will put a TNT minecart onto the track and send it down below. And the way that I get myself back up is that over here we have a bubble column. And basically what I want to do is just throw in an enderpill. And that will make like an enderpill stasis chamber. So now when I press this, it will do the whole thing. And then once it empties, it will teleport me here. So even if I'm all the way down at the bottom, it will just bring me back here. And I don't have to try and climb myself out. So now I just need to figure out how many uh, pulses I want to do of TNT. I'll do eight for now. I'll see how much I, how many resources I get out of eight pulses, and then I'll just sort of adjust it from there. Okay, I'm all ready now. So let's get in the Ender Pearl into here. Okay, I'm going to add in a couple extra rails just to give the TNT a little bit more give from the previous craters. Round two, here we go. I think I'm going to be warped up after the next one. Oh, nope, it, I just forgot to put the ender pull in. Okay, that's, that's one issue with this design is that it requires me to have any memory at all. Well, that was a quick start. Uh, I don't have a way of turning this off, do I? Okay, my shields are alive. That's good. <laughs> That's all I care about. Why didn't that teleport me back up? Okay, the ender pearl's gone. It just doesn't teleport me back up. I don't understand why. Wait, if I die, does the ender pearl forget that it's me? Okay, so if I then throw in an ender pearl here, these ones away, and then just jump off the side. And then flick it. Oh, the enderpearl's just gone. I guess what I can do is if I do die down there, I can always just throw in a new enderpearl here. And I have that will just like reset the system. Oh god, that always scares me. <laughs> Now this is not a bad haul. I've got two and a bit shulker boxes of cobblestone and then just about one and a half boxes of cobble deep slate and then some tough and a bunch of just random other stuff as well. But there's more to demolition than just getting stuff. What if you just want like a big hole for the sake of having a big hole? But you want to make you want to dig out an area to, to build in. And you don't really care about actually keeping the resources. This probably isn't the most efficient method. There's probably some other better ways of doing it. And I think I want to start experimenting with that. So over here in this cliff, I want to do a bit of experimenting with just using TNT minecarts as a sort of demolition method. So I want to first try one TNT minecart. So let's just set up one on activator rail, get a bit of a fuse and then and then that should just go and make a big old boom. But it doesn't make much of a boom. 
Also didn't destroy the activator bill, which I thought it would. I did not know that's how that worked. So instead, let's try using a couple TNT minecarts. And then get a button. And let's see how this does. And that made a much bigger hole. And it still didn't destroy the activator rail. It's, I think it's like indestructible. I did not know that. So I think you all know what the next logical step is. So let's set up another crafting system with a dispenser and we can get in a, a a lot of TNT. The crafters are now filled. So now if I just put in an observer here, it should just start placing down a bunch of TNT mine guards. Three, two, one, fire in the hole. Oh, that was a loud noise. What? Hmm, I think that might be because all of them fired at exactly the same moment. So it didn't actually, like, spread the boom. Okay, take two. Three, two, one, and... Okay. Uh, that's a little bit bigger. Wow, okay. My word. <laughs> Look at the size of that. I feel like all I can do. Oh, hello. Hey. I feel like all I can do now is just kind of go bigger. I want to go bigger. I'm going to go bigger. Okay. And then let's do three stacks. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Like it's like a weird sort of like square bit down the bottom. Also broken to what seems to be a lush cave up there, so that's cool. Sorry about that fish. Wow, okay. Is that broken out to the there's a, there's a cave up there? Jeez, okay, that is a bit of a hole. But I feel like it would probably be more efficient if I made it so if I, I had a few of those sort of TNT areas set up in, like, a sort of grid. So I'm imagining a lot of the TNT minecarts would have exploded before they reached the edge. Now, as much as I would... Now, as much as I would like to make more big booms, I'm going to need to have some way of supplying the TNT for them. And I've currently got this Pringles tube of a building that is, like, making gunpowder. But... Like, this obviously isn't ideal, is it? Like, going down into, like, a weird hole and grabbing the gunpowder. So I want to add on, like, an attachment at the bottom, which will be where I store all of the gunpowder. And then I can also have a crafting system down here to uh, get in the, 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 the... make the TNT, so... Oh, I should also probably make somewhere to actually AFK, because right now I'm just kind of AFKing on that chest right up there, which is... Yeah, that's not exactly ideal, is it? Like, have you seen Billy's gunpowder farm? Like, I feel like I'm, like, it's it, this. This is this is sad. What's behind? Oh, that's a, that's not sad. This is sad. Me. So let's get some stuff going. And, yeah, of course it started raining. Anyways, uh, here it is. Look, it is, it's a building. That's awesome. And look at these amazing uh, text, like, Unicode things. It looks so good. Uh, I found them on Reddit. I will post a link in the description and also uh, the, 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 the user's name. I think it was Hergleton, but I might be wrong there. But on the inside, we've got ourselves a nice little workshop. And uh, Crispy was over here and saying how he was... Very nervous about how close this pressure plate was to this TNT. But it's fine, don't worry about it. So anyways, over here is the actual... Uh, the, the, this is where the magic happens. So over here we have the little crafter set up. And basically I'm just using a crafter by uh, Raiseworks. Where all you need to do is just chuck in the sand up here. And then the gunpowder goes in automatically in the back. And it makes TNT. So it will just slowly, like very slowly... Just passively craft TNT as more and more gunpowder comes in. So that's going to come along every so often. 
refill the sand and it should just be a bunch of TNT just waiting for me. Uh, if I can get a little look at the redstone behind. Here it is. It's pretty simple, just basically a little clock. If you want to watch, we want to know more about it, just check out Raysworks video on crafters. But here is where the gunpowder comes in. It goes up through this tube, which then goes around the bottom, and I'll show you that in a sec. And then over here we have uh, one of the packing systems, so just put in items into here and then just do that. And then it would replace if there was more shulker boxes in the system. Like that, there we go. This is a slightly different design than the other one. Uh, this one's actually way better than the other one, so I'm going to start using this configuration versus the one over in my other area. I guess I could also have a like automatic packing behind there, since it is just going to be gunpowder. But I think I'm fine having it sort be manual for now. When it starts to overflow, then I'll put in some automatic sorting and stuff. And then over here is where it used to be. It's just a hopper line that goes over here. And I, I, I'm pretty sure I have cleared out all of the spots where like skeletons and zombies can spawn. But just in case, I've put a item filter down here, which fills out the gunpowder and then sends it up here through the dispenser. And then everything else gets put into here. There's some tough bricks in there. That must be when I was doing some construction. I've not had any rotten flesh or bones just yet, but just in case, I want to have a little bit of uh, safety. And there's one last bit, which you saw in the time lapse, which is this hot air balloon up here. Let's get up. Oh, God. And here's the hot air balloon. This is where I'll do all of my AFKing. I didn't want to bring the tower up because that would be like ridiculously tall. So I think having a hot air balloon makes the most amount of sense for a floating AFK platform. And I've done this sort of like shading effect where I've done like red terracotta along the edges on this side and then some white terracotta on this side to make it look kind of reflective. Up close it looks a little bit weird, but I think from like really far away, I think it looks pretty good. And that is pretty much my entire thing set up for now. So I just need to actually finish off the tower and stuff. But I think that's going to be a future project. Because it's... Oh, God. Because this tower is going to be part of a bigger build. That is going to go over there and make like a bit of a fort sort of thing. So I don't want to commit to any designs too early. But based on this building being like right next to it, I think this needs to be a little bit taller. But again, we'll figure that out another time. So now... I have this TNT being crap, there's almost a stack there already. Uh, so now that I have a fully automated supply of gunpowder and TNT, I can start doing some more blast mining and we can get ourselves a bunch of materials to use on the station. Yeah, that's what this has all been about. I want to get working on that station next episode and I needed a bunch of materials that I didn't have, primarily tough and deep slate. So it's going well. There's one more thing I want to do quickly, and that's over at spawn. Meow. Just over here by Boom Boom Billies, we've got ourselves a little nether crater over here, and this is going to be the temporary uh, like pop-up area for crater creators. So I've got this book here saying, do you want a hole? I have the means. Simply message CC and game or on Discord and I'll come and create one heck of a crater wherever you wish. Pricing depends on the size of the hole you want. And then right at the end, we've got a little bit of fine print that just says, CC is not liable for any damages to personal property, but he promises to be really careful. <laughs> we can now hopefully get a bit of business. I'll advertise that on the uh, Discord and eventually we'll get somewhere a bit, probably a bit more robust. But for now, I just want somewhere simple just to uh, get a bit of business, you know? Babu. So... I think that is where we're going to be leaving it today. So I'm going to do some AFK between uh, episodes, hopefully get myself a bit of gunpowder, do some more blast mining, and we can get, to, get we can do some veil stuff. Yay! So, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye!